What's up guys, my name is Carl and welcome back to Tech Hunter. It's been a while since I've done a video, as usual, I always kind of stump my videos with this because I tend to get uh, stuck behind with work and just run out of time to make this kind of stuff, but I've got some time today and I'm making a video. Quick update on what's been going on, my past two videos were about building a test PC and that is done. Test PC is alive, a few things have changed, I had a few issues. My Ryzen 5 2400G arrived. Uh, and I then had to order another Ryzen processor to update my motherboard BIOS so they would accept my Ryzen 5 2400G. But then upon updating the BIOS, sticking that CPU in, it didn't actually work, which was a bit of a pain. So the integrated graphics side of it didn't work. The CPU side worked fine. I messed around with the BIOS and for a wait. A couple of hours at least, just trying to find every single thing I might have been missed to enable the IGP, but I had it enabled and it just didn't work. So I had to send that back. And the Ryzen CPU I used to update the BIOS was a Ryzen 5 1600. Obviously six core, 12 threads, a bit of a beast CPU. And I thought I might as well keep it. It's, I'm probably gonna get better results for testing graphics cards and that kind of stuff with that CPU. So I thought I might as well keep that. Also, we've got the GTX 980 in there. We've got 16 gigs of RAM. I got two brand new and two used. The red ones are used. The two new ones cost about 100 pounds and the two red ones cost 75 pounds-ish, around that number. So not too bad, really. And I think the red and black looks really good together. It was completely accidental. It was just the fact that the red ones ended up being cheap. So I got them. But red and black brand sticks, they look pretty good. Instead of just all black, it kind of breaks it up a bit. And also works really well with my red and black theme going on inside that PC. I will be benchmarking this test bench PC very, very soon. I need some more time on my hands. I'll be testing out the SSD. I'll be testing out the, oh that's another thing, my solid state hybrid drive, my two terabyte one. That arrived dead, did not spin. So I had to send that back, get another one, which is all just added on time and more days of which it has taken to get this thing up and running. So I've had a bit of a bit of a pain, but it's all alive, it's completely functioning, and I feel like it looks really, really good, as you can see in the footage playing right now and throughout this video. I'll be showing off what I've done and how it looks. Obviously, the purpose of this PC is for me to test different things, test maybe SSDs, test CPUs, test graphics cards, that kind of thing, and without having to take apart my own PC so I can still work and function, or game even, because if I've got the wrong graphics card in there or like an older used one, I uh, mean like a, like a GTX 580, which I have done, check that video out if you've not seen that. I can't really use that card for my day-to-day -day life. It's a bit harder when you're trying to uh, edit video in 4K and that kind of stuff, as well as I want to use all three of my screens with it. Not quite as easy with an older card like that. So it's good to keep my PC fully functioning and then mess around with other pieces and other components in this PC to my left. So now I've got that off my chest, what can you guys expect to be happening on this channel? Coming up, I've got a few things. I'm gonna be start doing more case reviews because I did one of the Masterbox Lite 3, I believe, 3.1, and it did it did quite well. People have got a lot of positive feedback on that. People like the kind of stuff, as well as the older graphics cards. People like the graphics card reviews. So I've got a GTX 980 in this system, ready to be tested, and you can guys can work out and see just how good that is in today's market. Obviously, with the graphics prices graphics card prices as they are at the moment a 200 pound card like that is performing really really well so it's definitely something to worth considering as i briefly just mentioned i want to do some more case reviews so if you have any ideas of uh, pc cases that you kind of like the looks of but don't want to buy it want me to spend that money for you and see how good or how bad it is leave your comments down below giving me your ideas for cases literally about 15 minutes before i started recording the doorbell rang and these turned up. These are three RGB fans from Deepcool. I paid 30 pounds for them, so 10 pounds each for the fans and the controller. And it's got, um, I think a fan splitter as well. So that's quite a good package for 30 pounds considering you can spend say 20 or 20, 25 pounds on just two basic non-LED fans. So I'm interested to see how good these look, how good they perform and how quiet they are. I'm a big sucker for things keeping quiet, which is why I got the ML120s in my PC. Super silent fans. Also done a video on them if you're interested. That'll be somewhere on the screen or below. Good little piece of budget RGB-ness to 
put inside your PC maybe. But that's kind of kind of it for now. It's just kind of a little recap and a what's to come video. And hopefully you guys will be interested to see more of this channel and see more of what's going on. I mentioned earlier, I will be benchmarking this. So stay tuned for that to see how well that process performs and all this stuff that's inside. And also I'll be hoping to get a Ryzen second gen CPU in April when they get released to put inside this PC. Maybe I'll get a, what would it be, a Ryzen 5 2600 to see how it compares to, compared to the 1600. Or maybe I'll just go ultra high end and go for like a 2800X and just see what happens. Well, see what my bank balance can afford to be honest. But anyway guys, I hope this has kind of kept you up to date. It's a bit of a different video. And as always, leave your comments and likes. I really appreciate it. I, I love the support that some of you guys give me. And I need your advice as well. I mentioned PC cases, case ideas down below or even fan ideas, anything. If you see something online, you're thinking, oh, that looks quite good. I'm not too sure I wanna spend the money on it yet. Leave your comments, let me know. And also follow me on Instagram. That is probably the place where I post the most and you can keep up to date with me. I'll leave that in the description down below as well, just to keep you guys a bit more engaged with me and what's going on, because that's where I'm more likely to post kind of a little update as to what's happening. But as always guys, if my face has not offended you, do click that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.